Welcome, creative adventurer. I'm Debbie Cohn with D. Cohn Designs. Thank you for stopping by today. I'm so glad you're here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make jeans into fabric. Please stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll give you some tips on how to source your jeans and what to look for when obtaining your jeans for fabric. Before we get started, I have just a few quick tips to keep in mind when choosing jeans to make into fabric. The first tip is to always wash your jeans first, regardless of the source. Unless they're your personal jeans and they've already been washed, please wash your jeans first. That makes sure your jeans are clean and any shrinkage that needs to occur has taken place. Second, your jeans fabric will fray a lot. That's okay, just keep it in mind when you're cutting it up. Be prepared for those extra strings. My third tip is when you begin to sew with your jeans fabric, be sure to use a larger sized needle. I suggest a 14 or a 16. These are sewing machine needles that are made to use for sewing denim and other heavyweight materials. My last tip is to save your scraps when cutting up your jeans. I'll give you tips later in the video on ways you might be able to use those leftover pieces. The things you'll need are a pair of jeans, of course. I chose the largest I could find in the women's section at a local thrift store. You'll also need a pair of scissors, some pins, and a pencil or pen to label your strips with. A few additional tools that will be very helpful will include a rotary cutter, rotary cutting mat, and a some sort of sturdy straight edge ruler. A quilting ruler, if you have it, that matches the size and shape you want. Let's get started cutting. What I found to work the best is to actually start by cutting up from the leg. So I take scissors and I cut up along the leg seam this way, all the way across the top, just below the pockets, down the other leg seam this way, and cut off the bottom. And we'll do the same on both sides and both legs. So here I have one leg panel, the front section. I'm going to trim the bottom edge, and then I'm going to set it aside for now. I'm going to trim out the rest of the jeans, um, the front and back leg sections. I'm cutting around the pocket. You may wish to save the pocket for decoration for something else. It would make an awesome decoration or functional decoration for a purse of some sort or crafty project. Here I'm cutting the back of the same leg panel. I'm cutting down the inner seam. And then cutting off the outside seam on the leg panel. There we go, I have another leg panel. I'll do the same for the rest of the jeans and I'll come back to you with my stack of rough cut sections. Okay, I've cut up the jeans. It took me a little bit over five minutes or so. Let me show you what I've got left. Here is the leftover part at the top of the jeans that I can't use. You could possibly cut out the little pocket here, maybe even reuse the snap for some decoration if you wanted to. It's totally up to you, but basically that's what's left from the jeans. I also have left the two pockets. There's the two pockets if you wanted to save those. And then I have the seams. This you could save if you wanted for rolling up and tying things in the garden, maybe around a sleeping bag or a blanket or for other repairs. So you could keep that or throw it away as well. So here are the panels that I have. Whoops, there's one more. Here are the panels. Here's one, like this, it's quite large. Here's another panel, another panel, 
and another panel. So four very long pieces of fabric. Now they're irregularly shaped, so we're going to need to trim them up. Let me show you how to do that. So here's the top of the first panel. Let me push the fabric down so you can see the rest. And there's the leg. For cutting the sections down into usable fabric, you'll need a ruler, a two and a half inch ruler, works the best in my opinion, and a rotary cutter and your, rot and your rotary mat. The reason I'm using a two and a half inch by 18 inch ruler is because I'm going to cut this fabric into long strips. I want to use it for sashing and borders, and my standard width for that is two and a half inches, much like jelly roll strips. You, of course, could cut this into almost any size or shape, but you will be limited by the narrowest point of the jeans. So right in here, for example, you're not going to get very much if you're trying to cut a 10 inch square out of it. You could get charm squares out of it, but the most efficient and effective use, in my opinion, for this would be two and a half inch strips. The first thing I'm going to do is to find the grain of the fabric. Now, in this case, I'm looking for the lengthwise grain, the grain that goes up and down. If I zoom in, you'll be able to see that there are striations or markings in the jeans that show the warp and the width of the fabric. I'm looking for the long ways ones. When I cut, I want to cut parallel to the long ways grain of the fabric. I don't want to cut sideways, diagonally. That will interfere with the strength and the flexibility of the fabric. So, I pull it down like this. I'm going to work from the, the bottom of the jean pant leg, the front panel, to the top. I'm going to look for the grain on one side and I'm going to cut a straight edge along the pants. I don't want to tilt my ruler, even though that might maximize the use of the fabric, it won't follow the grain and we really need to follow the grain. So I can see right here that I can get a straight edge by following the grain, lined up the edge of my ruler with the lengthwise grain of the fabric, and I'm going to cut a straight edge right here. And then we do the same thing all the way down the jean to establish a straight edge that I can cut the rest of it into strips. I pull it down. I line up the straight edge I've already cut with my mat. And then I continue lining up the ruler with the fabric and the grain, cutting that straight edge. Here I've lined up my ruler with the edge of the fabric I've already cut and the mat line right there. And then I line it up again up here at the mat line and I finish the cut. Now that I've got a straight edge, I can begin cutting the fabric panel into strips. For ease of use, I'm going to use my two and a half inch wide ruler because I know that's how wide I need my strips. As I'm right-handed, I'm going to cut on this side of the ruler. So I line up the left edge of my ruler with the left edge of the fabric and I'm going to begin cutting the panel into strips. Pressing firmly when I cut so the ruler doesn't shift. Pull it down and cut the remainder of this strip and go ahead and cut, I'm going to cut the rest of it up into the strips. If it looks a little bit off like it does here, then I'm going to go with lining it up on the ruler and on the mat line and I'll just trim that excess right there. That way I can be sure that my strips are straight. All right, so there's, there's one strip. I'm going to cut up the rest of the leg panel and the rest of the jeans, and I'll come back to you. Once you've cut the jeans up into strips, the next thing you'll need to do is to square off the bottom and the top of each strip. As you can see, this is a little bit ragged, so I'm going to use my ruler, line up the straight edge right there and up there, slide it down slightly, and trim it off. The same on the other end. And my strip is ready for sewing. You'll do the same for all of the strips that you've cut out. The last step before using your strips is to measure and label them. That way you'll know exactly how much you have and if you need to buy another pair or not. Then I'm going to pin it onto my strip and fold it over so I'm ready to use it. There are a few things you should look for when choosing jeans to make into fabric. First is the size and the shape of the jeans. Obviously, the larger the pair of jeans that you have, the more fabric you may get. It also depends on the shape of the jeans. Skinny leg, low rise will not yield as much fabric as a traditional size 
or even wide leg jeans. So keep size and shape in mind. The next thing to consider is the condition of the jeans. If they're the distressed kind that are popular right now, you won't get as much out of the jeans as if you were to choose a more traditional style of jeans. Also, if the jeans have stains or accidental tears, that might limit some of the fabric you could use from the jeans. The next thing is color. You'll want to choose jeans that are similar in color if you need more than one pair and you want them to coordinate or to match for your project, whatever it is. One more thing you might want to know is about how much fabric will I get from a pair of jeans? Well, obviously it depends on the size and the shape and the condition and all of that. But as a reference point for me, I purchased a women's size 26 pair of regular style jeans and I was able to get about three quarters of a yard in total out of each pair. So it was about a yard and a half, which was plenty for cutting up into sashing and borders for my quilt. Of course, it all depends on the size and shape of the pieces that you're looking for for your particular project. Before I end this video, I want to give you some ideas on sources for your jeans. The obvious ones are look through your personal closet and the closets of your family. Other sources could include friends, thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, clearance racks at your local store, and even online. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up on YouTube here down below and leave me a comment. Let me know what you might want to use jeans on for your next project. Please tell a friend and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Head on over to my blog at decondesigns.com. That's where you'll find a couple of free patterns for your own personal use. And coming soon, the Scrappy Summer Sizzler, this quilt behind me, the pattern will be available coming soon in my shop at decondesigns.com. I'll see you soon.